Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to yet another episode on the channel. My name is Peach. So happy to be here with you guys. Today, we are doing something completely different than I've ever done before. This is not Brawl Stars. This is Rush Wars. And Rush Wars is a brand new game from Supercell. Just released in beta, guys. The very first release of the game. This is day one beta as of this recording. And we are inside the game here, guys. If you've ever played games like Clash of Clans, uh, Clash Royale, or Boom Beach, this game does have some elements from all three of those games, in my opinion. Now, being uh, day one beta, it is very, very soon in this game's life. It is just born, guys. Think about a baby that's just born. Obviously, that child is going to grow up to be completely different than it is day one when it's born, okay? And so this game may look familiar. It may look not very unique from the other games that Supercell have released, but I think this game is going to have a lot of awesome elements in it uh, that is completely different and unique to uh, those other games that have been released. But being a Supercell game, it is going to have some things uh, that will kind of cross over. And I think that's totally cool. Uh, the developers are learning from things that they've done in the past. And so they are going to build some of those elements into this game. But anyway, guys, that is my rant about that. This game is going to be super, super cool and fun guys i'm glad we're able to get in it on day one um am i going to be covering this game i'm not quite sure yet we'll see how this first video goes we'll see how other videos go in the future if we uh feel like doing them basically i want to do what is fun and i want to do what you guys enjoy as well and so we'll see what the reception is like to this video i hope a lot of you get to try this game out as well you can only play it if you are in canada new zealand or australia and thankfully miss peach and i just moved to canada if you are able to get your hands on this game definitely go ahead and uh, send me an in-game friend request i think those are things we're going to create a club we are going to create the fuzz inside of the game and so you'll be able to get in that club um, as soon as I create that, I can do that once I'm at level three. And once I'm there, I will create the buzz. We will get that going and you guys can join it. But guys, I did go through the tutorial. And uh, so here we are. I've only played like one match outside of the tutorial, guys. So this account is super, super fresh and new. I just want to hop over to leaderboards because I think this is hilarious. But Bobby BS, if you recognize that name from Brawl Stars, he is number one global. So there are quite a few people here that you'll uh, recognize from the other leaderboards in other games. And I just love it, guys, that um, everybody, there's OJ right there. I just love it that all these different communities are uh, coming together. Sh uh, Shane YT, very, very cool. All these other communities are coming together, guys, to... Uh, come into this game and create a brand new community around rush wars how exciting is that i think it's awesome so here we are on our base guys i'm still trying to figure out exactly every what everything is let's just take a poke around uh around the game obviously we have coins and gems in the upper right and so that um is going to be familiar from upper uh, uh, other games guys if we come over here to our chopper uh this is something that we can upgrade that carries our troops airdrops and commanders into battle um which i will show you in a little bit if we come over here to our hq uh this is another place where we can upgrade um upgrade things like our boxes defense production and gold storage which is pretty sweet and finally over here this is our lab so this is kind of similar to um clash of clans where you are going to be upgrading and producing troops uh, but the great thing about this game guys is that there's no wait time on producing troops like in clash of clans um so it is more it is a bit of a quicker game so you'll be able to produce things right away and get right into the action if you have the available coins so it still costs coins to do things guys obviously uh but the wait time is not uh is not there so i'm still just poking around trying to find everything and here is trophy road like in other games guys you will be very familiar with kind of our league progress or trophy road whatever you want to call it with different rewards along the way so that makes sense down here is where our free boxes get delivered guys so in this game there is attack and there is also defense but the defense 
um, is a little bit different from Clash of Clans. In Clash of Clans, you are building a custom base and from that custom base, you will defend yourself against attacks. Now in this one, from what I've heard, uh, the defense layout changes every 24 hours and you have to place your units in a way that makes sense for that map. Now this is how I've uh, placed my units over here on defense. So let's go ahead and let's watch an attack. So this one went very, very well. 18 minutes ago, TT Icert, let's watch this back so here i am on the right on defense and tt is coming in uh with some units on the left now he has some uh guard units and he also has some bombers guys i have no idea what the names are <laughs> i have no idea what the names are of these units um okay there we go and he gets one shot on us but our guards do pretty well in taking them out and then this mortar here whatever this turret guys what are the names of the units <laughs> this turret's just gonna do work and we have a pretty solid defense there guys um let's go home and let's watch another we're getting attacked like crazy though guys um let's watch one where we didn't do well so avocados here avocados versus peach uh avocados is gonna come in hot with a ton of troops guys literally so many troops from all different angles and we are going to get absolutely annihilated i don't think there's anything i could do to change my base here um that would help me obviously that mortar gets taken out by that thrower um and so we're gonna speed this up just a little bit and let's go ahead and yeah we're gonna go two times speed guys okay so there's nothing i could do there we're gonna end that replay um unfortunately yeah just overwhelmed by by the uh offense there um so anyway when you defend guys you can grab uh stars and it'll help you progress in the game on your trophy road and all that good stuff guys i've never done a video for a game like this i've only done videos for brawl stars i just realized that i've only done youtube videos for brawl stars i've never done a youtube video for any game like a base building game or anything like that and so it's just very very strange to me to be doing this video um so just bear with me but i am really excited to kind of switch up the content a little bit i've been wanting to maybe dabble into covering some other games although i love brawl stars and i want that to be the main focus um i think i do want to drop a game in here and there that's something different just to keep the content fresh guys and so a brand new supercell game i have to cover this guys i absolutely love supercell games i've played clash of glands i've played clash royale um i did not play boom beach uh, but i wanted to get in the, on this day one beta because i think that it is going to be something special and i want to be a part of this guy so here we go let's get into an attack we have 367 coins what are keys i literally don't even know what keys are keys are required to receive boxes from battle okay how do we get keys nobody knows literally nobody knows let's go into, into an attack this is where we create our uh squad and i guess you can load your last squad but we're gonna try to go with something completely new um let's go with this dude because he looks he looks good i don't have time to read what he does but um <laughs> we're gonna roll with him everybody who attacks with a lot of these dudes seems to do really well and we definitely need a thrower actually i'm gonna minus one of those put in these guys and then go with a thrower and for our attack we're gonna put in the arcade and you drop this arcade and it basically is just a bomb but it's a pretty cool idea for uh, for a uh, it's a pretty cool idea for a unit I have to say. All right, so now it costs two coins to attack, and so we're gonna fly our little chopper. We're gonna go searching for some gold mines, and let's see. We land on a base here. This doesn't look too difficult. We're versing uh, slowy. So guys, once you drop your air unit, it's going to um, once you drop your air unit, that starts the battle. So if you want to place your troops in a strategic way and not have that happen uh so this was well placed because his uh defense over here his um his base is what i'm trying to say is in front of those units on the uh upper left so that's gonna be tough but i kind of want to take out that mortar i don't know guys i think we're gonna go for the bottom right here and um that's gonna be a little it's gonna be tough um should we split up i have no idea we maybe we need to split um, I'm gonna place him pretty far up. These guys need to go over here. Guys, I have no, I have literally no idea the tactics behind all this. I have no <laughs> clue, uh, but we're gonna go there. We're gonna drop the arcade. Here we go, rushing in 
and we're looking pretty strong against these two guys i think if we can take out this um assault this green assault turret we should be able to get at least one point and get the victory um yeah and oh my gosh our rocket dude in the back and the thrower is absolutely causing mayhem they're gonna come over and those guys are going to wreck that second tower we're at least gonna get a two-star guys i think we are going to get a solid three-star victory here after we take this out so that went pretty darn well if i don't say so myself first attack on the video and it is a flawless victory i guess we unlock a box at this point guys so here is our key and that's what's required to open the box let's see what we get 38 gold oh we unlock a new card it is the mortar we've unlocked the mortar guys there's more cannon cards and our arcade can now be upgraded um so upgrade available let's go ahead in here and i guess we're gonna go over to our defenses and we're gonna upgrade this cannon card uh but wait wait, 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 wait. i thought it said we could upgrade oh no we got a new card i'm sorry we got the mortar we got the mortar brand new card pretty sweet so the mortar deals area damage at a very long range fun i guess they're just uh pretty straightforward about that that's pretty funny that's actually kind of a comical description uh because everybody know knows what a mortar does i guess if you've played other supercell games and so they were pretty cut and dry about that one uh but here is the upgrade for the arcade and arcade is going to uh level two and gains 10 extra damage uh okay so now i guess we can attack again uh did i forget anything no we have a mortar now but actually how do we edit our defense okay we go to gold mine to edit our defense and um i don't want to clear our defense what if i i want to put a mortar down guys what if i want to put a mortar down and i just want to replace i don't oh my gosh now i've completely cleared the entire thing I had that set up really well. I don't, maybe that's a bug or something. You should be able to remove one unit without remo removing your entire military. Um, okay, move this here. Okay, two of five. We can only have five on D. Uh, so the mortar is going to be absolutely ridiculous. And I'm going to place that right there because that seems mega strong. And I did like having our thrower. No, but our rocket dude is way stronger. So I'm going to place him right here. And um, okay, we're going to save and go home. Maybe someone will attack us. We did get... Whoa, we got attacked right away by ERC Pef, but I don't... I think that was on the old base design. Yeah, that was on the old base design, and apparently we won. All right, guys, about to go into that next attack. Here is some gold that we can grab, I guess, from some victories. Honestly, I have no idea. Uh, let's go ahead and build up our units. That was a solid attack. Actually, let's go ahead and select uh, last squad. So we're going to use that again. Um, obviously, we can't use mortar because we can't take buildings into battle. Uh, but let's go ahead and attack with this, see what happens. Searching for that gold mine again, and right away we found it. So the search time is roughly nothing. We're going up against Guiem. I don't see anything in particular that's making me kind of freak out in any, in any sort of way. Uh, so we're going to just nail these guys right off the bat with that arcade. And here we go coming in. I just already took out all their units, basically. And this is going to be just an overwhelming attack. I mean, uh, there, there's no chance. So they have the mortar. They do have the mortar unlocked. But wow, they did not go with a whole lot of troops. Actually, that mortar is kind of going to do work on us, guys. Uh, but our other units are going to come in here. I just don't think there's any way. Still, our rocket dude got taken out. And uh, we are going to take out that last defense. And that's going to be another flawless victory. <laughs> On the video, guys, obviously the attacks are really simple so far and really, really easy. Um, I think that this game will get very interesting in the types of units that come out and the ways, the different ways that you attack. And um, you know what it reminds me a lot of is the mini bases on, what were those called in Clash of Clans? The mini bases. I, I don't know what that was. Like the second base that they came out with a long time after the big bigger base. But I played that a little bit. And it seems like that a lot, like just the way that you have to think about um, about attacking and just the different possibilities. Less, it feels less like the real base attacks, like the big base attacks in Clash of Clans, because there's not quite as much going on. Um, but it feels like those mini attacks and similar amounts of units and things like that. So maybe that's what they were going for. I honestly, I'm not sure. 
Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. So we are going to go with one more attack, guys. All right, let's put that last squad back together again. That was so solid. How can I go with anything different, guys? I think I have to just stick with the same the same squad let's let's go ahead and attack maybe this will be a mistake i mean but we had two flawless victories in a row how can we go with anything else so here we are versus uh cab and uh, he does have one of those turrets in the back there's no mortar um i don't really see the big issue here we're gonna probably drop our arcade on those people in the top in the uh top up there uh, let's just send these guys right out in front. Let's go for the easy star. Um, let's go for the easy star on the upper upper left. No, just the just the top. I don't know how to reference this map. It's confusing me. Uh, placing units, guys, is a little bit difficult. The squares are so tiny. I'm playing on an iPhone 7, and so it is a little bit challenging. I imagine it would be much better on something like an iPad, a giant iPad. So there we go. We are going to rush in. We just annihilate those troops yet again let's see i thought they would veer left they actually look like they're veering right okay now we have a split army here it went and split around those rocks easily taking out that uh defense on the upper left or the uh, base on the upper left so we have three towers here guys which is similar to clash royale so we see that uh that feels very similar and kind of different than clash of clans um but there is the third flawless victory guys absolutely beautiful dubs are coming easy in the beginning guys uh let's see let's open up this new box hopefully we get a new card no we do not we get uh troops pitcher shields and gold let's go back home we can upgrade our shields let's just do that upgrade real quick boom 40 40 uh 40 gold i'm saving my gems guys because i don't know what's going to come out in this game and i just know that gems are so valuable inside of any supercell game so we're gonna hold on to those and uh there it is guys that's basically it for the game i really think that it has a lot of elements of different games that we have seen from supercell and i think that that is such a positive thing i think that it's fun to blend the games and come out with something new and then also you know put in the unique elements that this game will have as well and so i think we'll have a lot of fun with it guys We'll see what kind of content we produce down the road with this and how far I go with this or if I stick with it. It feels pretty good now. I think I want to keep playing it. Guys, let me know if you are going to download this game and look out for the fuzz, the club we are going to create. Uh, once we get to level three, we'll go ahead and create that club. Let me know in the comments below if you like this game. Let me know your opinion on it. And I will see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, follow me on Twitter. I'll see you in the next episode. Peach out.